Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest news, stories, and trends from within the digital infrastructure industry. And we are coming at you live. That's right, Deborah. We are live right now at Data Cloud USA, co located with Metro Connect in beautiful downtown Austin, Texas, home of the Longhorns, home of Keeping It Weird. Yeah. It's the state capital. It's got everything, including my friend, Deborah Freitas. Deborah, welcome, as always, to JSA TV. Thanks, Dean. It's great to be back. I, I look forward to having conversations with you guys every time, so thank you. I, I do, too. And, Deborah, I um, I would be remiss if I didn't mention who Deborah actually was. Deborah is the CEO and co-founder of Light Source Communications. So, Deborah is not messing around. They sent right to the top of the chain for us at JSA today. Um, so, uh, Deborah, for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about Light Source? Happy to do so. So LightSource is a hyperscale focused network owner and operator. We do strategic markets across the US, uh, Metro and long haul fiber. And I understand that uh, some new news coming out of the newsroom just yesterday, just correct? Just yesterday, that's right. We uh, had a press release yesterday. Um, so one of our major markets is the Phoenix market, which is very exciting and um, started at 140 miles. Um, it's already at 300 miles, and then yesterday we announced an additional 35 miles in the Goodyear area, which is really um, critical. Goodyear is building out um, a lot of data centers in the area, so it's where we need to be, and we were really thrilled to be um, moving out that way. So our, our Phoenix network now is over 335 miles, um, connecting all the data centers out there, and um, just really excited to be growing. Deborah, I'm already going to go off script. I, I, I know that sure. I, we've met before, so yep. I know that you're comfortable with this. Um, on my on my last interview that I just had, um, uh, a gentleman was talking about kind of the, the resources that data centers require. Sure. And, and we always hear about water. We always hear about power. He also mentioned fiber. Absolutely. Ta-da! <laughs> yeah, I love, love, appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you the a little tip later. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I think that people, um, I think that it is the unsung hero, right? Yeah. And you can have all the power, all the energy, and if, you don't, if you're not connected, you're just an island yourself. And so really fiber is, um, you know, one of those resources that I would say is underserved right now. Um, for years, fiber was, you know, pretty well servicing the areas that we needed. We and would talk about gluts when we were talking about fiber. We don't right. talk, we don't hear about that so much anymore. We don't. That's right. right. Our, Light source experience is that people are really in need and, and we're happy to be there for them. So. Yeah, and one of the other things that I think that I heard out of one uh, one side of my head when I was talking to somebody else was that part of that uh, is because of AI and obviously we're, yes. we're not going to we're not going to be I'm not going to have any conversation where we're not talking about AI and specifically kind of those large language models yeah. where where synchronous data flow is absolutely essential. For sure. So AI has many faces and I'm not an AI expert, Dean, but I am a fiber expert mm -hmm. and every application and, and use that, that AI has um, it has to be backed up with fiber. So, yeah. um, you know, it's it's um, likened to the highway system, right? And, you know, we're building out a new highway system. And you're doing so in strategic markets. I'm yes. going back to the script, see how we segue there? Yeah. Uh, you're, um, you're doing that in strategic markets, specifically with dark fiber. Why don't you talk to us about that? Yeah, so we have six markets right now. We're in um, Omaha, uh, in Las Vegas, Phoenix, of course, Tulsa, Arizona, I mean, Tulsa, Oklahoma, mm -hmm. um, Jeffersonville, Indiana, and Kansas City. So those are our six metro markets right now. And now we're starting to connect some of these cities long haul mm -hmm. paths as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited about that. We're going to have ILAs along those and, um, you know, and additional metros as well. So very exciting. I love it. And you mentioned Jeffersonville, Indiana. I'm actually from Indiana, born oh and raised, God. and still live in Indiana, not in Jeffersonville. Okay. Um, so, so that was a strategic market. You got something to say about Jeffersonville, I do, don't you? Because everyone always looks at us a little bit, you know, like <laughs> where? And we're like, it's across the river from Louisville. Yeah. So, yeah. thanks, Dean. It's, appreciate yes. that. I uh, know. I appreciate All your right. coming to Indiana. Thanks. We need folks like you. Uh, do I have another question for you? I think I do. Uh, Yada, other industry events. Um, we're only here about, about chips, chillers, and high-density racks. What role does dark fiber play in meeting AI demand? See, I already got to that question like without said, even no, no meeting right. it. Like we said, you know, it really is the connection. It's, it's that third resource that yeah. uh, that all of these major data centers are going to be needing. Well, all of the data centers, too. And, and um, you know, it's it's really kind of exciting to sit back and watch what's happening in the market. Yeah. And, 
the capacity that folks are, are you know, taking up now and, and just how it's, you know, growing out in each of our markets. That's another exciting thing for us is, you know, you build 140 miles in Phoenix. Oh, now it's 335 miles. And that's really every market we are seeing that mm -hmm. same kind of growth. And, um, you know, so we're happy to be there for them. It's fun to see it come back for me oh my God, because you know, I, know. I started, I started, I shouldn't say come back. It's fun to see it become kind of a marquee part of the conversation again. Yeah, I appreciate uh, that. You know, so, um, Deborah, it's always a pleasure. That's all the questions I have for you today. Uh, let's do this again sometime, yeah? I, I appreciate it, Dean. It's always great. Thanks. You bet. Thank you, Deborah, And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We will see you very soon.